artist loft paints, and other craft paints. A brayer, also known as a roller. Various natural materials you might pick up on a walk. A paintbrush. A long pointy stick. Dry wax paper. Bristol paper. And an 8x10 jelly plate. I'm starting this nature print out with a dark color. This time I'm mixing a touch of brown with black. I'm using a full bodied acrylic paint and I'm going to mix it up on top a little with my roller and then I'm going to evenly roll it over my jelly. It's important to give your jelly an even coverage. I'm rolling some of the paint off in the thicker areas and then redistributing it with my brayer to make a nice even layer all over. Now quickly, before the acrylic paint dries, you want to carefully arrange your botanicals on your jelly. Be sure not to touch the jelly with your hands or move your botanicals too much or it will leave a mark. After you're satisfied with where everything is arranged, you get a piece of paper. I like using wax paper because I can see where I've actually touched the jelly. And press it down around your botanicals. I tend to touch all the way around my wax paper so I get a very detailed picture of my botanicals and um, also get a beautiful negative. Be sure to apply some pressure to the thicker areas to ensure a really good impression of that botanical. Look at that beautiful negative. Now you're ready to lift your botanicals off the jelly. Carefully remove them using a stick to lift a corner and try not to touch it with your fingers. Let this layer completely dry before adding your next layer of paint. This layer of paint is always lighter. This time I'm using a full bodied acrylic paint with a couple of drops of blue craft paint. I use my brayer to mix the colors on top before I spread them out. And then I'll roll this paint evenly out over the entire jelly. I start out with a pretty thick coat of the white. This ensures that I can get an even layer all over before it begins to dry. I start removing the white paint with my brayer and keep removing it until I can see my image under the layer of paint. When you get to that point where you can almost see your image transparent through the paint, 
You need to be very careful not to apply pressure with your brayer. While the paint is still wet, apply your paper to the jelly to make the lift. Press evenly and firmly all over the jelly to ensure a good transfer of the image. I'm using my stick to do a little touching up in this one. There were a few pieces that I didn't like. I'm going to let it fully dry before my next layer. <laughs> 